Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of PTR4, trying to win all the stages in all the events in the career mode and still stuck at the Pacific Pro Cup, I think it is, last uh, uh, event or last, last stage, a hot lap. Um, besides being a ridiculously strict time, there's an additional uh, complication here, and that is that there's significant slowdown in the emulator, uh, which makes it much harder to control the car. It's very sluggish, etc. Uh, so I tried uh, setting it to the default settings, but that's, uh, this is more of a high quality setting of the emulator, but the default setting really renders no light sources. So it is way too dark. So it does have a stabler frame rate. So I tried to, um, uh, in between episodes see if it, if it improved my time and, and yes it is more stable but it's also so dark I'm, I'm not even gonna bother I'm just gonna try to do it with the slowdown with the uh, higher quality setting where at least the lighting in the uh, in the environment is correctly uh, rendered um, so yeah we are just going to continue basically where we left off in the previous episodes Hopefully Perseverance wins today, but God damn it, this is a really annoying uh, challenge uh, or stage. It, it's, it, it are only a couple of corners, but the first corner, it is, it's uh, the, the second and the third corner. It's, it's a downhill, then a right-hander, then uphill left-hander, and that is the key corner. And the car, which is, has a super tendency to, to drift, uh, it is raining, it is just uh, like driving on ice, it is barely doable, but yeah, I will just conti w uh, yeah, continue at it, hopefully it will uh, work out at the end. Like also a couple of episodes ago with that um, third stage, I also hit a wall off there and in the end it did work out, so I'm hoping, putting uh, my hope uh, on the, f uh, yeah, that hopefully uh, something similar will happen here, that in the end I will be able to make it. Um, so here we go. And also I will, after, I, if I don't have a good corner uh, or a chance to win, I will just start over, which is super annoying because this rolling start take way, takes way too long. It takes like 15 seconds, but somehow the slowdown in the level is worsened in the second and third lap compared to the first lap. So I will try to make my attempt uh, only in the first lap because there's uh, yeah, more control uh, uh, with a, a more stable frame rate, so to say. Um, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> So nice. 
Oh my god, this was so annoying with the slowdown, etc. Holy shit! And I saw the split time, it was a 0.76. And I was like, I will never make that in that last corner. Apparently you can make up a lot of time in this last corner. So real, very real. Although for this one, I don't really have so much sense of accomplishments. Just felt more lucky than anything else. But whatever. And I think it was also the. Uh, first lap where it, it worked It was totally that final corner that did it. A 
good thing I completed it because normally I was like, okay, I'm 0.7 seconds off, I will never make it. I, I cancelled out a lot of time when I, when I was at 0.8 at the uh, second timing point. And here I was at 0.74 or something and I continued and I made it. Holy shit, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, and we can also buy some new cars. Finally, some progress. All right, bikes we have. Sports coupes. What kind of cars are these? What class is this? No idea. Don't even know whether this is always one class or cars from different classes. No idea. All right, racing tracks. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy tracks, I'm gonna buy cars, I need cars. An older one, a V8 Vantage and a Vanquish. Yes. High top speed, high acceleration, basic grip. This is a little bit of everything. This is like a race car. And here we have a drift car. Alright, a little bit of everything. Very good braking, this is like a race car. Then we have the Spiker. Yeah, pretty good at everything. And then the TVR, also pretty good at everything, including drifting. So which one do I want? Which pack do I want? Because now I'm really more aware of the fact that you really need good cars to be able to be uh, competitive in certain events. Otherwise it can be crazy difficult. Um, yeah, shall we start with this one? Endurance track, Ferrari, track, Lamborghini, Suzuki, Ducati, Rock. I have no idea what pack to take. All right, I will just start with. Uh, we will just work our way through the car packs. Let's take this one. Um, and I will be safe, making a copy of the safe game. A past world number one challenges you to race. Dare to beat him and earn a wild card into any event in the PTR World Tour. Invitationals give you access to exclusive vehicles and game content. If you choose not to play this invitational now, you can enter it next season. Alright. Uh, I will enter it now. But first, I am going to, I think I can do that while the recording runs, like so. I am going to back up the save game, just in case I make a wrong car choice that we can go back to here.
All right, that should work. And now let's get back to full screen. And here we go. One on one. Oh shit, this is against a bike. All right, I never driven bikes before. this track this track is super tricky if it's the long version this is also going to be crazy difficult I think two laps of this maybe it's a shorter version I really have to I never driven bikes before so I really have to get used to it that guy already passing the finish line and then the event uh, ending because we cannot restart after we uh, finish the event uh, only within the uh, race uh, but man it's pretty epic the sound everything and the bikes yeah it's not really my thing but actually <coughs> now driving them they're actually pretty cool button to taunt um, which button would that be we can also do a, a stoppy you can do some special maneuvers but I'm not sure what the taunt button is all right this is the camera ah let's see if we can taunt this way see a tone button unfortunately maybe that's because we are in a race that it doesn't work uh, then I'm not sure anyways uh, no let's do the correct camera and here we go Oh. 
by the way, also pretty cool that you hear that other bike still in the distance. Here, you still hear it. That's, there's so much detail in this game, it's just amazing. You hear him blasting away in the distance. Probably in the... I even see Pepsi to the left. There are so many real life companies in this game. I'm not sure whether they all paid for advertising or whether uh, Bizarre Creations had to pay license fees to get these brands in the game, but it makes it much more believable, the world. Anyways, you hear that bike blasting through. There he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> so epic. All right, here we go. No more kidding around. Oh shit. I accidentally have that name button. I accidentally had that, uh, that's super, I find it weird that it has such a prominent place, but the right shoulder button is display or height um, uh, driver names above their head. And I accidentally had that enabled. I really hate those. Also in GT7 and GT Sport online, where everybody drives above the car with their name and their flag of their country. So unimmersive. I really don't understand why people... You're basically racing against name icons. You, you hardly don't see the cars anymore because it's so distracting to me. But uh, yeah, so I accidentally had it enabled, but now it's disabled again. So uh, here we go. Driving these on the edge. the apex Anyways, steering uh, earlier into the apex really helps. I'm keeping up with him. <laughs> <laughs> 
I kept in front for quite a while.
way too twitchy, I find. I've, I don't really find it fun.
<laughs> All right, that was pretty crazy. Uh, the world number one wildcard challenge. All right, no idea what I can do with that. Four championships available. Yeah, so we can also do like uh, the highest tier championship, I guess. Not really sure why I would want to do that. You have one wild card. This can be used to enter championships above your current rank. Yeah, but I prefer to just, I don't see, maybe for the kudos or something. I don't really see why, what's the use of that? I prefer to just do the, of course you do get more points. Yeah, so this is 40 tour points, this is 35. But we have to do them all anyway, so. Uh, amateur already did, we are now doing the uh, professional league. And, holy shit, this is a pretty long one. So, speed challenge, yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Again, it are races and speed challenges, but there's also this drift uh, event in between, time versus kudos. So, you don't want a car that is only grippy and quick, because then you will not be able to win the... Um, the drift event, the time versus kudo, because there you have to drift a lot to stop the timer. So it's it's always a trade-off what car to pick, but what I noticed from the uh, the previous uh, professional events with that uh, Mustang, that if you have a car that is, um, it can be really tough to win um, hot laps, for example, in a car that is not only built for speeds like grip acceleration top speeds but also built for drifting like that mustang was now it gets really uh tricky selecting the best car for the range of uh stages not only for one stage but for all of them let's see what this is d so yeah so this would be a good contender i guess Ah, no, yeah, it does drift a little bit, but it also has a lot of grip. This one is better for drifting. This one has a good acceleration, but yeah, this is not good for that drift challenge. Um, yeah, this one stop speed is way too low. This one, yeah, they're all quite good. They're all six out of ten. Only grip. Yeah, th uh, this is seven out of ten. This one has a way higher top speed. Quite good braking. This one yeah, basically has everything a little bit low. At least top speed. This one is a pure drift car. This one... Um, yeah, acceleration lacks a bit. Yeah, so basically, I would probably go, yeah, I would really like to go for this one, but I'm afraid it's just not competitive enough. I already did an event in the COK, but 
that's the problem with this game setup, with the, the hardcore, it's so hard, you really don't want to leave anything to chance. So you really am looking, are looking for the best car. But that does mean that you probably will be driving the same car over and over, because there's only one car the best mostly. And I think that is this AMG. Uh, this one I cannot take because I cannot do the drift challenge with it. It has way too much grip. This one is too low top speeds. This one is uh, yeah, more or less the same as the uh, Mercedes actually. Or not. It's like, uh, no, the Mercedes is 7 speeds. Yeah, the Mercedes is quicker. This one has better top speeds, but yeah, do you really need the top speeds? Often you don't even reach it. And the acceleration is way less. This one as well. This one as well. This one as well. Yeah, so I really would be going for the... For the uh, Mercedes. So it's a bit boring, but yeah, I really also want to make some progress, so I'm going with this one. Uh, but that will be in the next episode, guys, hope you enjoyed, hope to see you there. Hopefully it will not be as frustrating as the last episodes with that Mustang, which is nearly undoable at times. Uh, but yeah, we will have to wait and see. Uh, hope to see you in the next one, for the meantime, don't forget, always do keep on gaming, later.